Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to upload and download files on our AWS S3 storage using Rust. So let's get started. First of all, we'll move to our AWS console where we'll add our new S3 bucket and then upload and download files from our Rust application. So let's begin. So into your browser, in the AWS console, search for S3. And once you are on the screen, just press create bucket. Just give a unique name to your bucket make sure you are in your preferred region and I'll name it as AWS semicolon dump and scroll all the way down keeping everything as default and we'll just press create bucket so once our bucket is added we'll be redirected to this screen where we can see all of our buckets and now let's go ahead to our ID and start coding so first of all, we'll move to cargo terminal file to add a few dependencies, AWS SDK S3 with version as latest and features as RT Tokyo. Then we need Tokyo for async programming with version as latest and features as full. And then we need AWS config to load our config with version as latest and features as behavior version latest. Meanwhile, our dependencies are getting added move to any of the location inside your machine and add a file which you want to upload on s3 for me i added this file as abc.txt and if you can see we have here abc semicolon hello world how are you and please subscribe so you can add any dummy text or if you have any valuable files as well now back to our main first of all we'll add upload and then download and then consume both upload and download so we'll just say async fn upload pass our client and not from aws config but from aws sdk s3 sdk and then the bucket name str then the file path as str and key for the bucket uh, object we'll name it as key and then str in the result we want to return put object output or sdk error with put object error and we'll quickly add a stream body byte stream from path and here we'll pass our path so we'll just say path new path as file path dot await and then we'll just say client dot put object dot bucket pass the bucket name key pass the key and body pass body dot unwrap and send await so this is our upload similarly we'll go ahead and add our download so async fn download we need everything except the file path so here we'll just say result get object output or sdk error as get object error and things are more simple here we'll just say get object pass the bucket name pass the key and send and await so this is our download this is our upload now let's go ahead and consume both tokyo main and async so here we'll add the config and client from environment and then we'll just say not uh, region pass region new for me it is ap southeast as i'm using singapore you can add any of your region and we'll just say load await and then we'll create a client client new pass our conf and the name for the bucket 
so for me it's this name you can add any name with which you added your bucket and then we'll add a path so this is absolute path to your file that you want to upload path to your file similarly we'll add the key so i just want to name this as unknown you can name any key that you want and then we'll simply say let result upload pass our client and pass the name pass the path pass the key wait and unwrap and then finally we'll just print our result now let's go ahead and test this part so open your terminal and here we'll just do cargo run okay so once you see similar kind of output our file has been uploaded now let's go to our console and verify so back to our aws console go inside your bucket and here as we can see the unknown key file has been uploaded the size is 55 bytes as i showed you guys my file was just some dummy text and the file has been uploaded you can go ahead and check different other details related to etag and uh, object url and different things but i'll go ahead and try to download this from our code so back to our id close this and now let's go ahead and download so just move all the way down everything else as same we'll just remove this add download parse our client and the second thing we need is bucket name so pass our name and pass the key now wait unwrap we don't need path and let's go ahead and write this file as well so what we'll do is we'll just add the mutable file so we'll say create and let's say i want to create a new file which is just next to my main which is dump.txt and once we have this we'll just do a while let some bytes result dot body dot try next dot await dot unwrap we'll just say file dot write all pass the bytes dot unwrap and let's make this mutable so that okay now let's go ahead and download our file and write to dump.txt so back to our terminal and do cargo run so if you also see a similar output meaning our file has been downloaded now let's go ahead and check it so into my project explorer and there you go there is some thumb.txt which is the same text and as you can see it says moments ago which is like we downloaded this file and we have all the content which was in the original file so this is the old one which we uploaded and this is the new one which we just recently downloaded so that's how you can upload and download files from your aws s3 storage if you learned something new please like the video share with your friends subscribe to the channel i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you for watching Bye bye